Chancellor Winner, Chairman Ebert, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, uh, Dr. Holland, distinguished guests and participants, fellow graduates, chers amis, chers amis. I'm very pleased to be here on behalf of the graduating class of 2015. C'est vraiment un grand honneur d'être ici en célébration d'un tel accomplissement. It is after years of effort that we gather today to commemorate the completion of our engineering degree. Several years ago, we embarked on the same journey together. Coming from different backgrounds, cultures, and countries, we decided to become engineers. I have always wondered what brought us all together. On the one hand, we were all attracted to science, be it chemistry, physics, or mathematics, applied science was our calling, and it will remain to be a constituent part of our career. Nonetheless, there is a much more primary force behind us today, the thirst of innovation. It is the most ancient human need, that of changing our environment, improving the lives of our community. This strive remains at the very base of any engineering program, regardless of us being mechanical, industrial, civil, or building engineers. It is towards this very innovation that we have developed so many valuable skills. We have spent sleepless nights devoted to learning algorithms, formulas, theorems, models. Indeed, engineering has been a very challenging degree, and it has made it responsible, honest, humble, and ethical. After all these midterms, finals, reports, late assignments, and such, we can finally say that we've made it. We have become engineers. At the same time, we have gained a much more precious skill, that of working as a team. If there is something that we have learned after working with our peers or after the capstone project, is that a team is much stronger than its individual members. Beyond technical work, a team always leaves a long-standing legacy, companionship and friendship. Other than a vehicle for strong bonds to develop, Concordia was also a prompt environment for our professional and personal growing. This ceremony is not about us, nor about an individual accomplishment. Today is about a community, which value is imprinted on every one of us. This community provided us with a challenging cutting edge program that integrated both research and industry oriented opportunities. The co-op program, CIADI, SAE, industrial experience, are only a few of a plethora of industry oriented opportunities that we could benefit from. On a personal note, Concordia also reached to us personally. When we were in travel or to help us cope with the stresses or the challenges of life at university, student services was always there for us. Thanks to counseling and development, thanks to international students office, to the financial aid and awards office, to the People's Potato, the Multi-Faith Chaplaincy, CAPS, and the ECA for so many years of kindness and support. Today, we obtained a diploma, but it's just is much more than a mere piece of paper. This diploma encompasses years of hard work and dedication. While we may be uncertain of the paths we're gonna take in the future, ENCS will always be a part of us. More than a university or a physical location, Concordia became a niche for our passion to develop and our talent to grow. Even though we may, we, we may be fearful of our next step, we can always look back and smile. I would finally like to congratulate us once more time. One more time. Today is the apex of a challenging and intense journey. Thanks to each and every professor for their time and their expertise. Thanks to the academic staff who supported us through our studies. Thanks to our family and friends for being our everlasting motivation. Merci à chacun et chacune de vous pour faire partie de cette communauté. Thank you, Concordia. Muchas gracias. Mr. Paredes Seminaro, I have to uh, say that we hear many valedictorian speeches and they're all good, but the passion that comes out of yours reigns very strong, and I wish you lots of good luck.
Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to our class of 2015. May the force be with you.